as part of their ongoing commitment towards sustainability, Extreme E highlights an ecological challenge faced at every location they race in. We spoke to Professor Carlos Duarte about the vulnerability of coral reefs in the Red Sea and what it might mean for future generations. Tropical corals are the tropical forest of the sea in terms of the importance in building a structure but also supporting biodiversity. So coral reefs support one in every four marine species. They also provide livelihoods for nearly one billion people around the world and they protect the shorelines of vulnerable countries. And if coral reefs are lost, some low-lying nations will actually lose their national territory. By current assessments, we have lost about nearly two-thirds of the extent of corals in the ocean, and the drivers of those losses have been multiple. But over the last 20 years, and more strongly over the last eight years, then climate change is the major driver of loss. So about 15% of the losses of corals can be directly attributed to climate change and the projections of the future of corals under climate change, we might lose 75 to 90 percent. So being the first ecosystem that is at risk of becoming functional extinct due to climate change. Personally, I'm involved in four major efforts to uh, conserve corals. I'm the executive director of CORDAPS, and it's the only global program where scientists from different nations are working together to deliver new science and technology to conserve and restore coral reefs. Then on my own work as a scientist, through the work that I do, the research that my team and students do, we focus a lot on the future of coral reefs, and we have created a new startup called Ocean Revive, providing cost-effective technologies to restore coral reefs elsewhere. When we say that one billion livelihoods depend on coral reefs, we're thinking only on one human generation. But if coral reefs are lost, they will be lost for a long time. It takes about 5,000 years to build a coral reef. So we're talking about 200 generations of humans that will have to go around their livelihoods in the absence of coral reefs and some nations that will disappear altogether. Coral reefs are not just a matter of coastal people. There'll be a sense of grief by everybody, and including those that will never see a healthy coral reef, but they will read about them in books and then blame me and my generation for the damage done. To help spread this important message, we invited the drivers to Kaust University, where researchers are working to find ways to promote coral life. Today we're enjoying an evening with the Extreme E, drivers from different teams, will come to KAUST and we will share with the community what Extreme is about, our commitment with climate action and also advancing new technologies. The drivers will get to see what re research is happening here in KAUST. So they're going to go through the wet lab where we can see uh, different experiments that are going on on developing technologies for coral restoration. So does this have a predator like will fish come and eat this? Or? Yeah, which is why they mainly only come out at night so that they yeah. can avoid that. We had a great seminar with Professor Carlos and Ali Russell telling us about Extreme. He explained to everyone and um, now we're here at the coral farm and they're showing us how they help accelerate the growth and how important it is to add to the ecosystem. It's really interesting to see how sports is raising awareness about these kind of uh, environmental issues that we're facing. This is a really difficult world to bring together around are common challenges and we need to uh, collaborate together and only one unifier in the world is sports.